Digiboom by Red Rock Micro, an interesting tool for energizing your shots. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video, and photo solutions. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hollyland, for a better view. And Atomos, better monitoring, better recording. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D, and welcome to our virtual show. Today I'm here with Brian from Red Rock Micro. Brian, how are you? Good, Johnny. It's good to, good to see you, and it's nice to uh, be able to connect in this way. Thank you very much. Good to see you, too. We haven't seen each other for quite some time. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think last time we met was last NAB, but unfortunately there is no NAB this year, but there is a virtual show. And let's move on straight into, first of all, just to introduce yourself, because some people might not know uh, Red, Rock, Red Rock Micro. Sure. So my name is Brian Valenti. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Red Rock. Uh, we started the company back in, I think, 2004. So gosh, it's been over 15 years now. Uh, our original mission was to build uh, cinema equipment and accessories for independent filmmakers. So that was back then, and that's actually how we met because of the DSLR revolution and so on. Right. But in recent years, it looks as if you kind of changed direction a little bit. Yeah, so we, so we, I think we got really well known for doing DSLR equipment, and it went all the way from the original cages, uh, working with Vincent LaFerre, who did, as you know, the original, uh, sorry, the Canon 5D video that kind of started it all, and we did a lot of electronic accessories and remote focus and systems like that, and then I think probably about maybe 2012, 2013, we realized that uh, the nature of that business is going to be uh, extremely competitive and extremely low cost and that's great we we always hoped that that would be the case and so we instead opted rather than to continue to build cages and things that you know nowadays you can get great solutions uh, through Amazon or eBay for you know probably a hundred bucks I and mean, it's just really phenomenal stuff uh, and nowadays we're really focused on kind of uh, I would call as more niche type of application so we have the one man crew that does the automated uh, slider for doing interviews. It's a great solution for that. We're going to talk a few things about Digiboom. And I have to say, in preparation for this conversation, I looked at a video that we produced during NAB 2018. That was when you originally introduced the, uh, the, the Digiboom. And right. I, I have to say, even now, two years later, it still looks very impressive. <laughs> You added a lot of features and you're actually now publishing a new framework update for the whole thing. So first of all, what is the Digiboom? Right. So Digiboom, which we previewed in 2018, and as you mentioned, you guys covered, very well received. I think we received three Best of Show awards, is essentially a gimbal stabilized jib arm that you walk around with. Um, and what's great about that is if you like the jib style shots or the crane style shots, but you need mobility and you want to put this camera someplace where you just couldn't normally get a jib arm or a crane, uh, this, is a, this is a perfect solution uh, for you. But when we showed the, the footage and we kind of played it back, we realized that uh, you know, it just wasn't quite as stabilized as we wanted. There was a little bit of some quirks and things, so we had to completely rewrite the software. And we released Digiboom in 2019, and it's been in regular use ever since. We have Fox. ABC uh, News, ESPN, C-SPAN, in fact, if you're in America and you, you know, watch a lot of the politics, you see, you see it being used in there a tremendous amount. So that was back uh, at 2019. What is new with the, the latest firmware? Right. So now we're sort of on version 2.0 of our firmware, and we've added a, a, about a couple of different things that are, are really interesting. The first is we now have a sport mode. So when we conceived of Digiboom, it was kind of just sort of standing and walking and maybe a little bit of movement. And then largely it was the, the, the booming and the crane types of shots. Now it's got the sport mode, which stiffens everything up. We have people running down the field at full speed, uh, swinging this uh, camera at the end of a pole around, and it's just rock solid stability. So that was something that uh, people really look forward to, not only for sports, sports, uh, but for also things like car-to-car -car interactions, any place where you're having a lot of wind, a lot of movement, it's a great way to get a really interesting shot. Uh, the second thing we've done is 
In broadcast, we have to have a lot of camera matching and capabilities. So we figured out all of the wireless, all of the remote painting and uh, camera control. So now you can walk in uh, with a Digiboom to any of these events and actually plug in and have it match every other camera. And then the third thing we've added a few accessories. Uh, one is the um, tripod adapter. So now you can take the Digiboom, actually mount it onto a tripod, use it as a traditional jib arm. And it turns out that's, that's really popular because you just want kind of a lightweight, quickly movable type of jib and it will do that. And then the second thing is a Steadicam adapter. So a lot of the folks who are already used to a Steadicam arm, maybe want to use it for the additional stabilization, can now mount the uh, Digiboom right onto that uh, stabilizer arm, run around with it, and it does uh, a great job. That all sounds really nice, but uh, one thing that I do remember from the original uh, presentation, you demonstrated the Digiboom with a, a Blackmagic design, I think it was a Studio 4K camera or something like that. Yeah, the Micro Studio Camera 4K, Micro. yes. Is your device uh, capable of working with other cameras? Yeah, so great question. We've, we've actually got that question a lot as we rolled it out, and the short answer is yes. The Digiboom itself supports up to, I think, six and a half pounds of camera, which is a you know, pretty good sized camera. Uh, we focused initially on the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera uh, 4K because it, it was a very small form factor and it was remotely paintable and kind of checked a lot of the boxes uh, that we needed. But since then, we've actually integrated with the Antelope Pico camera, which is a high speed camera. So uh, Red Bull Sports folks like that who are doing kind of these really insane shots and want to get, you know, really uh, slow motion, high speed types of cameras uh, that will work for that. And interestingly, uh, we do a lot of 360 work now. So there's cameras that uh, you kind of, it has a 180 degree lens on it. I think from 3G Wireless does this. And uh, you kind of put it out uh, into the, you kind of place it someplace and they actually have software that allows you to move the, the camera around in real time like we see in uh, GoPro Fusion, things like that. So how about pricing? And I guess it's already, of course, available, but maybe you can tell me where it's available and about pricing, please. Sure, so right now, uh, the pricing for the complete kit includes the flight case, all of the accessories, uh, uh, the, the tripod accessory and the steady camera are, are actually separate, but everything else that you need is uh, $49.95 uh, and you can buy it directly from us. One option that we added that's very popular is we now have a rental uh, option where you can do one day or a couple day week, something like that, if you wanna either try it out or you just have an event that you wanna use it for, but you don't necessarily wanna buy it uh, wholesale. And that's all available from our website at redrockmicro.com. This all sounds very nice, but I would love to see as an independent filmmaker, like a, a Digiboom, let's say on a telescopic uh, pole or something like this, something which is a bit a bit cheaper and also versatile like the one you have now. Any plans to introduce something like this for independent filmmakers? Um, we are working on some ideas that's going to lower the cost by removing some of the things that broadcasters want. So, you know, the remote camera paint, other types of stuff. Obviously, that's not important uh, to us independent filmmakers. So, short answer is yes, I love that idea. It's already being used now and, of course, can be used now. Um, we're just trying to look at ways to maybe make that a little bit more affordable. Brian, thank you very much. As always, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It is my pleasure. It's always good to see you, Johnny. I hope you're well. Thank you. And guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.